Microsoft has pulled off what I think is going to go down as one of the smartest business moves of all time. And I really think it's going to revolutionize their business, take it to, into the, the next stages and challenge a lot of market leaders in other industries. Let me explain. 2019, Microsoft invested $1 billion in open AI. Open AI, they build AI products. ChatGPT, a few others that they have to market. ChatGPT runs off their platform called GPT-3. Right? Open AI, ChatGPT. Microsoft gave them a billion dollars, part ownership. However, just the one part of it, chat GPT costs $1 million per day to run. $1 million per day. Now check this out. The biggest cost for an AI company is the web servers, right? That's what they're spending like a million dollars a day on. Who are they paying? You wanna take a guess? Microsoft. It's all running on Microsoft's cloud data service. Microsoft has the second largest cloud data business in the world right after um, Amazon AWS Microsoft so now part of the one billion dollars that they gave them they have to run all their shit on Microsoft's cloud and they have to pay Microsoft for it now check this out chat GPT is only one part of this chat GPT is just runs off the the GP3 software but almost every other AI software that comes out is running off GPT-3, right? Because it costs so much to develop this and run it. So what they do is they just license out GPT-3 from OpenAI. They paid OpenAI to use their services. So it's like Notion just came out with their AI stuff, like Notion. What other companies have an AI that runs on this? Uh, Jasper, what else? Name it, what else runs something new that is running off OpenAI's uh, platform? There's a bunch of them. I know, I know Zapier oh, yeah, Zap started using it. So here's the thing, every business say they, they have AI integration, they're really, almost all of them are using a form of GPT-3 that's owned by OpenAI. Basically, they're paying them but then when they're running it, here's the thing. When they're running it, what's it running on? Again, it's running on Microsoft's web service. It all comes back to Microsoft. Basically, it's like a coup, right? And then Microsoft actually integrated GPT-3 into Bing. So there's an integration there. You know, it's coming up with some really interesting things. This is way different than Google, right? So they're trying to beat Google in both internet browsing and search. We'll see if they make a dent in it, right? Because Google is, is still superior. I don't know, man. I've seen people use Bing in demos to really do some interesting, cool shit. Because, like, you know, when you search in Google, sometimes you'll just get a bunch of ads or you'll get a bunch of bullshit, right? But you can use Bing now and or Edge to like, get the answers you want in written form, right? And it's, it's super impressive and it's super interesting. And I think Google is going to have to answer this and they're trying to, they came out with their, they forced them to come out with their own AI, but it was kind of trash, <laughs> but they'll fix it. They're smart guys over there at Google, right? But I really think just this part alone, this part is just super interesting because chat GPT or GPT-3 is the one, it's the main one that every company's using. Everybody's kind of has to pay Microsoft whether they know it or not to use it. If they pay open AI, they got to pay Microsoft and the bigger this gets, you know, everybody's going to want to put AI in all their stuff. And it only makes sense to use GPT-3 because it's the best one right now. And it's all running on Microsoft, maybe off their servers. And I think that they're going to be able, with, with this move, with this one move, they challenge Amazon because Amazon makes 70% of its revenue from Amazon AWS, right? Their, their cloud data service, 70%. Like you think it's your subscribe and save shit, man. That's like a, only a fucking measly 30% of their revenue, like Amazon Prime and all the other shit, the shit you know about. The real shit is the enterprise shit. They're number one. So Amazon's going to challenge them and they're going to challenge Google with search all with one move. I just bought a new Windows computer. I ain't want to, just in case, just in case I don't want to get left behind. You know what I'm saying?